Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and we have this famous problem right here. 4 to the x plus 6 to the x equals 9 to the x, and we want to solve for x. I'm going to give you a moment to see if you know what the answer is, but I'm going to give you a hint here. It's golden. Alright, so this one actually is fairly easy to solve. We first want to divide by a 4x to both sides of the equation. So we divide everything by a 4x here. And what do we get? Well, 4x over 4x is just 1. You should know that. Plus, simplifies here. Let's skip some steps a little bit. 6 over 4 is a 3 halves. And we can raise that to the x power. And that would 6x over 4x would simplify to b. From there, we have a 9 over 4, or 9 to the x power over 4 to the x power. Now, here's the tricky part. This one actually can be written as a 3 halves squared, as the 9 fourths, right? 3 squared is 9, four, 2 squared is 4. And then, uh, so we have a 2 up there and multiply that by the x. They're similar. Now, we can rewrite this to be 1 plus a 3 halves to the x power equals, well, 3 halves. Now, what I want to have here is a x power all squared. Same exact thing here, but now it makes it a little easier. Let's set a, the letter a, or variable, right, is equal to a 3 halves to the x power. So what do we have? Well, when we do this, it now looks into a much simpler problem. We're doing a substitution. So we have now 1 plus, well, a, which is 3 halves to the x power, is equal to, well, an a squared. Not too bad to solve now. Using, we'll set it equal to 0, and we'll solve here. Bring everything over. a squared minus an a minus a 1 equals a 0. And at this point, I'm going to use the quadratic formula to solve for a. And let's use a different color here. Why not? So, you should know the quadratic formula by now. a equals a negative, and a b value is negative 1, plus or minus the square root of b value negative 1 squared minus 4. a is 1, remember this coefficient there, and c is a negative 1. All over a good old 2 times an a, which is a 1 here. This actually simplifies here. Well, negative, negative is a positive, so we have positive 1, plus or minus, and then... Well, negative 1 squared is a positive 1, but then minus a 4 times a negative 1 is a well, negative, negative makes it a positive, and so the inside actually becomes a positive 5 all over 2. And that's where it looks golden here, okay? So we said a is equal to a 3 halves to the x power, but notice that if we set this equal to a 3 halves to the x power right here, right, what happens? Well, can we have an x value? Can this ever be, when I plug it on this side, can it ever be negative? And the answer is no. And so, because, well, we can't really put anything negative there. And so a has to be greater than 0. Okay? So if a is greater than 0, let's go set now that, again, 3 halves to the x power equal to a, knowing that a has to be greater than 0. All right? Keep going here. Using some simple math, we take a natural log of both sides. And what happens? x comes down. We have x natural log of a 3 halves here equals natural log of a. From there, divide both sides by natural log of 3 halves. We have x equals natural log of a over natural log of, well, 3 halves. And let's go finish out here with our final color being pink here. Well, we know a to be the golden ratio, right, when it's positive right there. So we can take x equals to the natural log of the golden ratio here, okay, the golden ratio, 1 plus the square root of 5, remember it has to be positive, over 2, all over the natural log of a 3 halves. Now, that final answer here comes out to be approximately the decimal of 1.1868. Okay, it's approximate there. But our final answer for x is the, well, natural log of the golden ratio over the natural log of 3 halves. Did you know how to solve this problem? If you did, let me know in the comments section down below. And I just want to say thank you for watching this video, and please subscribe to our YouTube channel. This helps us make more math videos for you. So, thanks again, and have a good day.